Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back with Shane. Zach. We're back with the Star Wars, Clone Wars. We're watching it in chronological order. Guys, this is season six, episode four. Last episode, it looks like we're getting to the bottom of, of the scheme. At least we're gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, last episode, we have fives. It looks like hopefully he's gonna get some vindication. We're going to see it, I think, examined on Coruscant. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, Shakti. She took it, right? But at one time it was switched. The Kaminoan woman, the uh, scientist. Yeah. She switched them and was trying to keep the one there, I thought. Yeah. And then. Because Palpatine wanted directly yeah. to him. And, and she like, found it. Yeah, and, and Shakti was going to break the rules. So yeah. now we'll, we'll, we'll. Well, that's actually what's happening now, I thought. I thought Shakti said, I'm going to go ahead okay. or send it to the Jedi Council first. Yeah. And that's when she switched it, I think, right? Oh, no, the Camino and one was going with it. Okay, yes, yeah. And they said that this is going to the Jedi Council first. Mm -hmm. Say, why it's just I go to or something like that. Just say, as you wish or something along those lines. I believe, I don't know, it's been a minute. Fives also, like, one of the parts I really like is he actually, he's out there in the water of, of Camino. Which just seems like, that seems like a miserable place to be and to live. It would be if you're not semi-aquatic. Well, yeah, it's just like, it'd be very unnerving for me to be on these platforms on a water plane and thinking, like, oh, shit. Yeah. We're only held up by this fucking city to, to peek over. Like just a bunch of oil rigs. Yeah. Offshore rigs. Just Makes me want to watch Armageddon. Hanging, hanging out out there. Yeah. yeah. Come and get Papa Bear. Yeah, God, that was a good movie. Great they characters. Were. Yeah. They were. Fucking That's how we lost Max. I just watched for the very first time well, my life. Li no. Well, what, Bruce Willis didn't last long? Owen Wilson. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He died. On He's the, five on minutes older than Grace. <laughs> yeah, he died in the crash when they landed. Yeah. Just... Remember, like, how dramatic and epic it was when that was all going down? Like, the lighting and the glass. Mm -hmm. Like, Michael Bay, like, that guy, he can do fucking. He knows how to make an action film. He knows how to make a fucking action film. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah anyway. Scientifically, maybe very far off the mark. But yeah, it's. But we didn't know that back then, and I guarantee most of these motherfuckers didn't know that back it then. It was still, it's still a hit at the time. <clears throat> People want to shit on it because it was a hit. Yeah, that's I'm people. sorry, it was still great. Yeah, it's the opening like the when the fucking Hawaiian guy got killed by the asteroid. And, oh yeah. And the fucking the black guy was standing there, and he was the guy was walking his dog, and it was still I can't remember how the fuck it happened. Yeah, it was in the city. Yeah. Yeah, it's when it, uh, they fucking landed on the Samoan the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll name it Dottie after my wife. Oh, that's sweet, Carl. She's a vicious, life-sucking bitch from which there's no escape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us to see more things like this, just watch our full-length Uncut Reactions. It's on our Patreon. Yeah. We also have the next four weeks early access on there, and we're winding down, man. Let's jump in. Well, that's correct. Yeah. That's kind of a new shit one. <laughs> not for me, but yeah. You can't sense that shit. No, no. It's, all, it's always been convenient for Star Wars plot-wise. Sometimes they can't, sometimes they can't. Yeah. Oh, recognize this tower? <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Um, that's where Palpatine is waiting and then uh, takes Anakin there. The yeah. Chancellor is waiting inside. Oh, shit. I trust you've kept this matter extremely confidential. Of course, Chancellor. Ah, good. So this is the clone who has caused so much alarm? Guards, let him down, please. Now, Trooper, what brings you before me? The chips, Chancellor. These were removed from both clone troopers. Those are inhibitor chips, which are placed in clones to make them less aggressive and more compliant to orders. This thing they put in us malfunctioned in clone trooper tub. I removed his and analyzed it. Sir, they're covering something up. I know it. If it's not them, then it's a separatist plot. They use this chip against us to make us more violent than less. A separatist plot from before the war even started? That seems unlikely. Don't you agree, Master Shakti? It does, Chancellor. It seems very unlikely. I don't think I've ever this seen this scene. absolutely impossible. Perhaps it would be best if Clan Trooper Fives and I discuss this without your presence. Trust me, I will not be alone. I have my security here. 
I want this soldier to feel he is having a fair say in this matter. Now, where were we? I don't think I've ever seen this episode. Let me go! Me. You were right, Doctor. He must have gone mad without his chip. You have done all you can, Doctor. I trust you will keep these safe. Of course, Chancellor. Savers. Hey, Jedi jump. Okay. <laughs> you told him. I am. <laughs> yeah. Look at this place. Oh, sure. <laughs> Just don't hit the lunch line. <laughs> Open the blast. Yeah, I know. Dude, I haven't seen his episode. It's pretty good. Yeah. Can't believe Fives would try to assassinate the Chancellor. Arc Trooper Fives feels he is the victim of a plot, separatist or otherwise. Jedi involvement has not been requested. That's a little odd, isn't it? Discover the truth. We must. If there is a plot involving the clones, we must get to the bottom of it. We must make sure this clone is not killed. I'll handle this investigation. Fives was part of the 501st. If Rex and I find him, he'll trust us. Be wary. Since he removed his inhibitor chip, Fives may no longer be the man you once knew. You think Cyril was walking around here as a teenager? With a little cereal? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, fucking armor. Yeah, get out of that armor, dude. Hey, pal, where to? Take me to 79s. Oh, you're a clone, huh? Well, just shut up and drive. Okay, you got it. <laughs> the characters like this, I remember. <laughs> They're kind of funny. Now for a little fun on a towel, eh? Hey? You know, clones can have fun. There's a lot you don't know about clones. No one knows. Ooh, very mysterious, eh? Hey? I like a good mystery. Yeah. He's like a giraffe. Cheech. Hey man, am I driving okay? Hey, you paying for this ride or what? Uh, bill it to the Republic. Lousy, cheap clones. It's your credit, pal. You're paying for this. <laughs> this is why they got a bad reputation later on. Not because of Clone Wars, because they don't pay their tabs. <laughs> like in episode four. Lousy fucking time. That's a nice hat you got there. <laughs> Mind if I see it? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, sure, you got it. You think, you think you can tell each other apart ever? They're all, they're, they're genetic, I mean... Yeah, they're genetically identical. I don't think it's identical, I think it's like they are exactly the same copy, except... Yeah, they're identical. We saw one of those, two of those ships in, uh, Soka. Yeah, we did, anyway. Gunships, are they called? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Republic Bathroom. So, I guess the 501st is back on Coruscant. Oh yeah, we just got back from Ringo Vinda. Fives? Whoa, what's going on? They say you tried to assassinate the Chancellor. All I can tell you is, is that I'm being framed. All of us, even the Jedi, are in grave danger. How can I help? I need to talk to Rex. Or, or General Skywalker. Just, just turn yourself in! No! No, I'll never get to them. The highest levels are involved in the conspiracy. I have to talk to General Skywalker and Rex directly. Yeah, here are the coordinates. Just make sure he meets me there. Okay. Good luck, folks. He looks like yeah, no, anyone he... else here. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be odd seeing a guy with armor have hat on. Yeah, I know. All right, you guys check out. Move along. Move along. Oh! <laughs> I'm shocked. Ah, oh, shit, really? Oh, but they get all up. I get... No, I get that. Sir, the fugitive clone has been spotted by one of our probes in Sector I-9. 
I wonder what he said to him. Yeah, um, it was high. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the coordinates Kix gave us. Let's hope Fives is inside. Uh, I hope he knows what he's doing. Fives? Fives, we're here. Come on out. Just want to talk to you. Have you come without troops? We have. Put down your weapons, then. I don't think so, Fives. Please, I'm on up. I'm putting my pistols down. What are we here for, Fives? I need your help. I know you do. We know you're not well. I'm not crazy! Please, crazy. Please, just... We're here to help you, Fives. Just come with us. I just need you to listen to me. I was framed because I know the truth. The truth about a plot. Well, there's a sinister plot in the works against the Jedi. Show me the evidence. It's, it, it's in here. It's in all of us. Every clone. What is it? Organic chips built into our genetic code to make us do whatever someone wants. He even killed the Jedi. It's all in here. Let's just get you some help first. Then we can review everything. Uh, you don't believe me! We only want to help. How do I know you're not tricking me? How do I know it won't be a trap? The Chancellor would try to kill me! I promise you that! The Chancellor? He's in on it! I don't know to what extent, but I know he orchestrated much of this. He told me in the medical bay. When you tried to assassinate him, you have gone too far, Fives. The Chancellor is incapable of what you claim. He is! You have no idea. Stand down, soldier! Stand down! Get on your knees! No! No! no. Stay back! Fives, no! <laughs> Get this ray shield off! Like fucking last samurai at the end. <laughs> A tragic situation indeed. About the clone's breakdowns. It appears Nala Say did miss something in her examination. Another cause? Your doctor's found? A parasite. Probably in a canteen of water they both shared. It did cause the inhibitors to decay once the parasite had taken hold. Just to be cautious. We have prepared an inoculation for every clone trooper in our army. I guess it's over then. Yes. We can finally put this whole wretched situation behind us. We must direct our attention back to the war at hand. We grow closer and closer to victory. Lord Tyrannus, have you received the inhibitor chip that you requested? I have indeed. You have done well, Doctor. Our plan has gone undiscovered, Master. The clone in question is now dead, and the Jedi still suspect nothing. Good. Destroy all evidence. No one will be able to stop our plan to execute Order 66. That was good. Really good. Yeah, um, I don't I like... think I've ever seen this. And I know there's like this big affection for Fives. I know that from the fandom. Mm -hmm. Now I kind of see why. Like he was us with us from season one, and then he died trying to fucking do a good thing. He did. And he got close. Yeah, very close. It was like, yeah. you know, it's, it's... That retroactively makes that character better. I wish I knew that when I rewatched it with you. Well, yeah, you got the, it's like Palpatine just telling him everything. Yeah. You know, which I mean, it makes sense. He wants to... 
you know, instigate him, prompt him to attack and I imagine whatever, his ass. So. I imagine whatever knowledge Sate gave him made it so he just couldn't be coherent about it. Yeah. Because if he if he if he didn't get that shot from her, I would be like, why didn't he just say like, fucking he told me, you know? Yeah. But the shot kind of fixes that completely. Yeah, he can't put his thoughts together. Yeah, I mean, there's so many good things about this episode. Um, Maybe. I mean, for I mean, his death. I, I, mean, I was very sad. It was it was sad. I mean, at first you, it makes you wonder if Palpatine had told him in those chambers with those other clones and the guards present that they hadn't heard, but if he just whispered it in his ear. Yeah. Because obviously these troopers are weren't probably weren't the same troopers that were in Palpatine's chambers with him there when he was attacked, but they shot him and they, they felt bad. Like oh man, fuck. Yeah, and to me that was like sad. That's what also was sad about it. Like they did it. The, a very good job of making you feel the drama of the situation. Mm-hmm. And Kevin Kiner, who also does the music for Ahsoka, and he's he started with this show. He does it for Rebels, Ahsoka, not for the Mandalorian. It's that Ludwig guy. Yeah. Um, but um, it, it was a great like when Palpatine was sitting there talking to him up in his chambers. You hear like that, dong, dong. It was like mm-hmm. very faint. Yeah. That was great. Uh, a few things. Um, I always love when we see the Star Wars underworld, like just. The taxi cab stuff I liked. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen the Star Wars bathroom. I, th- I mean, we do, I guess, in Mandalorian Season 1 when that guy's going to evacuate his fucking thorax. Yeah, and... but it's just like a, a little one-man stall. Yeah. It's not a like, big, full-on fucking bathroom. Yeah, that was like a fucking bathroom. Yeah, multiple stalls, public, we, we re- see, public rest area. We see it in Jedi Survivor. Like, your little, you get, you, you, you get like a fucking cantina. Mm-hmm. And you can you upgrade and stuff. Um, okay. But there's like a bathroom there. And I'm like, oh, it's the first time we've seen it. But nope, it was here. <clears throat> the place where it all went down, where Fives got shot, when they walked in, that it, like, they had this industrial feel that was different than like... Crickets. Sorry. Guys, back. We had this, it, it didn't feel like Bespin. It felt different in a good way. It didn't feel like Mustafar. It felt unique. Not as, not as like epic, but it just felt yeah. like... There'd be a place like this in Star Wars, and it doesn't feel like our it's world. Just a dank industrial yeah. environment. I've been talking because I just haven't seen this. Impal surgical something. But the place where Anakin is rolled into for his surgery, mm-hmm. we got to see it and we got to see the Red Guards. How would you feel about that? It was cool to see the Red Guards, the Imperial Guards. Yeah, they're that was great. Very cool. Yeah. Because I think in the prequel trilogy, whenever you see them, especially around the Senate, they're either blue mm-hmm. or something along those lines. And they have this big, big weird crest. Um, the outfits look similar in yeah. terms of the sleekness, but they don't have that Because we got that one guy who's a traitor. Remember he gets stabbed? Um, hey! <laughs> he was a guy... Oh, yeah. He's a Grievous, and yeah. he was like... Or he was the, a Savage. But those guys weren't the guards, though. They were oh. the, um, like, Republic... Trooper? Not... Commandos. Okay. Or, or their command. I can't know what they called them. But no, they were, like, the, you're, you're they right. were like the top tier like actual, Senate yeah. people, whatever the fuck. Yeah, there, there's actual guys that look just like this at Blue. Yeah. Yeah, I think we see him. But they just don't have like, the face covering. It has it's an opening, I think, around their eyes. Okay. But the but the Imperial Guards I always thought were really cool. EU comic called Crimson Empire. Yeah. Where a force sensitive Imperial Guard uh, tries to take the, the throne okay. after the fall of Palpatine. I remember you've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, his name is his name is Carter Jacks. Yeah. And uh he ends up being killed by Kinnick's Kill, I think was his name. Does he have like an axe? He has one of their the big vibra blade stabs they have. Okay. And it's not the stabs they always carry in the movies. It, this thing has it's like a dual blade. Okay. It's like a big katana looking thing on either end. Well, there was a and character were, I thought had an axe from a comic book because I thought one time well, we, it was in a game. One time we tried to nail something. Yeah, we tried to make it. And like you know, you nail it in here, and then once it gets hit though, it, it fucking, fucking it broke like fuck. Yeah, no, <laughs> it was just they have a like a staff and it's got a little end on it, and the blades come out, and go up. Okay. Go back on either end. Oh, okay, yeah. I only read, I think, one comic out of that. This is whatever came with the figure when I bought him. I just remember he looked really cool. Connor Jax, the guy that was trying to take over the Empire. You're right. Because he has a black and red armor instead of just red. Okay. He looked looked really cool. For uh, the Snoke's guards in Episode Eight, they take inspiration from some of those EU things because that one of them has those weapons. Okay. So, yeah. I really liked it. You got anything, anything that surprised you about it? or Like, I know you like the intrigue stuff. Like, because we're yeah. yeah, we're seeing more of like what feels like Revenge of the Sith, like even the way Palpatine dresses. Like, he was wearing that outfit when he gets abducted by Grieve, abducted yeah. in Revenge of the Sith, like that black. Well, thing I do say is that, but Dooku saying, "Oh, well, they they didn't find out this happened." And, uh, 
we're playing the safe. Like, obviously, Palpatine already knows. Yeah. So it makes you want to. He's got everybody compartmentalized. Even Dooku. I believe that. Because, yeah. You know, Dooku's just you. Know, it's, it's it's sad to me because you know it's Christopher Lee ultimately, yeah. but it's just he's not really his apprentice. He doesn't even think of him that way. He's just. I know. I know in the books. He's a purpose that he serves. Yeah, like if he would have beat Anakin, that that would have been the test. Like he doesn't expect Dooku to beat Anakin. No, he doesn't. He, he, he plans for Anakin, hope. but if. He, all, he didn't expect Maul to lose. Yeah. So he has a plan, but he has been investing in it. But he was also investing in Dooku before Maul lost. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's just, I, I just think, I mean, I think we I think we both want some kind of a connection, but not in a way that doesn't make him, not in a way that humanizes him, but I think we just don't want Dooku to be treated like that. Yeah, I, I agree. But, like, it's it's so important for his character to, for Palpatine to to be like that, you know? Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's unfortunate. It sucks. But I mean, this show had, to me has given Dooku some incredible moments, and yeah, you know, is. and oh yeah, we also saw that huge hole that he's going into. Yeah, because like, that's where Anakin had gone down in there looking for Ahsoka, before, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, or no, it yeah. was Ahsoka. Oh, yeah. Then he yeah. runs into Ventress. Yeah, and, down in the underworld. Know, yeah, no, it just I I haven't seen this. I loved it. Um, I I understand the sentiment for fives now, mm. and if you're like a kid who grew up in like I didn't. But, particularly care too much for clones until probably after I saw the Mandal- the Mandalorian show. Mm. But like if you liked all that the characters that from season one, man, that's they're all dying. Yeah. I mean it's it's a pretty powerful thing. Like like his characters be. went on for a long time. To see that loop. Yeah. Back. yeah. But anyways, Zach's tired guys. He usually allowed him to be out here by six thirty is in ten minutes, so I don't got anything else, dude. I I think this has to be the end of the arc. So I would imagine. I just can't see them really going to so about that inhibitor chip. Yeah. <laughs> Good next Jedi Council. I guess funny they're all sitting in his office and they're probably always thinking like, well, who, who are we gonna have in here? Like, why should they be in here? Yeah. I feel like Anakin, if it wasn't for the relationship with Palpatine, he'd be the one who wouldn't need to be there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But he has that relationship, and he's like, when he's talking to Fives, he said, you know, he's not capable of doing these things you're talking about. Yeah. Mace said that about Dooku. Yeah. He's not he's, his he's character. A, he's not his character. Like, what a dumb call. <laughs> as much as I love Mace, that was a dumb yeah, well, call. It's all dumb. I mean, obviously, they've been hoodwinked this whole time by Palpatine. Well, like, I, I think the show in the movies, I think we can say that the, these characters aren't stupid. Palpatine is that good. Yeah, but we have, he has to get away with it, we know, because he becomes the Emperor. So. Yeah, yeah, he becomes the Emperor. But I, I, I like the idea that it was this close. And uh, Filoni and George saying, hey, you know, we want to show in the last couple of seasons uh, that there were times where it could have it could have been muffed. The yeah. plan could have fell apart if he let Maul just run amok. Mm-hmm. Could have fell apart there with Order sixty six, and he had to be a little more hands on with it. Yeah, more than Dooku. So, anyways, uh, really liked it. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll get surprised and see some more episodes. So, maybe so, anyways, guys, that's it. If you want to support us, leave a comment down below. Check out Ahsoka, and right now I think Loki's going on. So check that out. Right here.